How's it going guys, UltraSive here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get better ping in Roblox. I haven't really seen too many guides out on the internet or any at all on how to get better ping in Roblox, so yeah, today's video, I'm going to teach you guys. So for step one, you're going to have to run a speed test. This is just going to test your internet speeds to see if you can even run Roblox. If it's in the kilobits per second or like less than one megabit per second, you're probably going to have a lot of difficulty. So you can go to speedtest.net and you can run a speed test and it'll tell you what your speeds are. For Roblox, as long as you have like one or more up, probably, uh, or I mean one or more down and one or more up, you're probably going to have like enough to run Roblox. I'd recommend five up, five down. That's where you're probably going to see some good results. In my second step, you're definitely going to be wanting to have a wired connection. So you want a, a Ethernet cable or some people call it a LAN cable. Uh, preferably Cat6 or higher. That's like one gigabit per second for Cat6. And if you want to go extra and get a Cat10 or a Cat7, you get 10 gigabits per second. That's more if you want to do file transfers on your own network. You guys probably don't want to do that, so Cat6s are pretty cheap. Um, and if you don't have like the ability to use an Ethernet cable, like your router is too far away, you can get Wi-Fi extenders and you can place them throughout your house. Or you can get a better dongle for your PC, uh, PC like a PCIe Wi-Fi adapter, or a better USB Wi-Fi adapter with uh, larger antennas or something. For the fourth step, it would just be to move the router closer or move closer to the router. That'll definitely help with your connection since Wi-Fi is definitely one of those connections where uh, it has a lot more instability as you move farther away. So I definitely recommend making sure the distance between you and your router is as low as possible if you're on a Wi-Fi connection. If you're on wired, it doesn't really matter. You can be uh, as far away as you want. For step five, you're gonna wanna go into task manager and stop like any uh, extra tasks that are using up a lot of your connection. Uh, these can be just like random tasks or if you find that something's downloading, make sure to stop the download if it's in the background. That could definitely be interfering with your connection speed if you're like downloading a Steam game in the background. You probably can't play Roblox at the same time, so either stop playing Roblox until the game is done or like stop, pause the install and then uh, you can actually play the game then. For the sixth and final step, this would just be to restart your modem and router. Sometimes these are both a combo. Uh, definitely ask your parents first, but yes. Uh, this will definitely help if you have like a setting going wrong or there's a problem with your modem or router. A restart or a factory reset could definitely help a lot out with any problems that you're having, especially with latency related. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did learn something or improved your ping, make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely turn on notifications because I will be releasing a lot more tutorials and commentary videos. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm out.